Alright ladies and gents, it's Uncle Sam's Devil, and today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the state of Ready or Not. You know, this game. Which looks pretty freaking awesome, if I do say so myself. However, that's not exactly a game we've seen much of so far, is it? I mean, unless you're talking about the early development alpha stage locked behind a $120 paywall. Which, yes, some of us have in fact played that. But what about the rest of the community? I mean, supporter-only access to the alpha is great, but when you aren't building up on the hype of your game anymore, and you have had some bad things happen as well with your development, such as the drama with Easy Street, a guy who was an old SWAT modder brought in by Void Interactive and was supposed to be a middleman between Void and a lot of the community so that they could stay true to creating a spiritual successor to SWAT. And then he left. Just basically said, I'm done being treated like garbage. Here are the tweets. He says, Time to clear stuff up. Yes, I'm leaving Void, sadly. I spent the last few weeks mulling it over and it's the right thing to do. No, this was not some conspiracy by higher-ups as part of a pushing towards Siege PvP. I haven't worked with them for months. Then he says, I was not fired. I was not forced out. Literally 100% my own decision based on circumstances at the moment. So... This was a guy that worked on the game a lot. And, you know, with all that going on, let's get back to the price of the game. Personally, I think $120 is a little bit high for what they've shown us. Especially when they aren't even releasing gameplay and information on the game modes that the community is interested in. Don't get me wrong, I have nothing against the PvP aspect of the game existing and being incorporated. I'm a PvP player through and through. I just don't understand why, knowing that the biggest portion of the Ready or Not community is interested in SWAT type gameplay, they chose to reveal this. That, ladies and gentlemen, was the PvP streamer event from a few months ago, which not only showed us how terrible of a state that portion of the game was in, but it also deeply undermined the morale of the community as a whole. Because again, in case you're unaware, throughout development, Void Interactive marketed themselves as the team to undertake the task of creating a game that would capture the community that still plays SWAT 4 to this day. They're exploiting an audience that has been waiting for a true tactical co-op shooter experience for years. And again, they showed that event. And then they go radio silent again. And that is one of Void's biggest problems, that they are so absurdly shady with their updates and progress on the game. People have been waiting and hoping that one day, a development team would have enough professionalism, passion, and grit to be able to provide the niche experience that only games like SWAT have been able to in the past. But with modern graphics, improved game mechanics, and the overall advancement of gaming today, for a long time, it seemed like Void Interactive was going to be that team. And you know, hope isn't lost. They still can be. And to be honest with you, despite the fact that updates from the devs during development of this game were few and far between, it was a eerily overwhelming sense of positivity throughout most stages of development. But with everything that is happening, you would have to be absolutely insane not to be worried about what the hell is going on with this game right now. Unfortunately, after the reveal of the abysmal PvP streamer event we saw a few months ago, where the in-game setting menus wouldn't work and the sound was just an unbearable ear rape, the public still has been provided with little actual evidence that the development of the game that was marketed to them in the first place is still under development and there still really hasn't been a lot of interaction between the devs and the community that formed around their game. Frankly, the PvP and co-op experiences in Ready or Not are two very different games. 
Let's just hope the PvE does not become like the PvP. It was just so mind-numbingly freaking bad. Why the hell did they showcase PvP? Why wouldn't they focus on the strong co-op cornerstones they have built? It just blows my damn mind. Instead, they have a community that was constantly teased with the word soon so much that it became a huge meme. Now, people, even at longtime supporters, including myself, people that have seen and played the co-op PvE portion of the game, are beginning to worry. And after their seemingly new focus on PvP, the new joke about ready or not is, it's not ready. Which isn't that funny for people who are still really looking forward to the game and are passionate about the genre. Because it not being ready, of course, resulted in another delay. This negative attitude for me, though, has zero to do with the delay. I'm glad they delayed the game, because allowing the whole world to play a game in the state that it was at at the event, it, it would have a horrendous effect on its entire future, without question. And some of you that have kept up with the Dead Matter news that I've done in my videos, I'm, I'm sure are wondering why my tone is different when it comes to Ready or Not than it is when it comes to Dead Matter. And the answer for that is pretty simple. The only frustrating thing the Quantum Integrity team making Dead Matter has done is delay their game. The best thing Void Interactive has done when it comes to Ready or Not development in regards to their player base is the fact that they have delayed their game. Because it was not in any way ready for beta. And they have a terrible relationship with their community. That is a striking difference. On one hand, you have a dev team that constantly involves itself with its community. Then you have Void Interactive, who is dead silent the majority of the time, who hardly ever says anything. And then they release to the public complete and utter garbage at a much higher price of $120 to play right now, no less. Guys, I really, really want this game to succeed, but they they just have completely destroyed themselves with the way they have marketed this game, and it isn't all innocent. Some of the decision making over at Void just has to change. I hope things start to turn around for Void Interactive. This is a game that I've been excited about for years. Three years. I'm not here to trash talk a game. I'm here to point out disasters still in progress. Alright ladies and gents, it's Uncle Sam's Devil and that's going to be all for this one. If you liked this video, be sure to leave me a like and comment down below. I want to hear your thoughts. If you didn't like this video, also, comment down below. Let me know what you think I should improve on, or hell, just let me know your thoughts on the state of Ready or Not. See you guys in the next one.